Hi, my name is Ashton, and this is my story. I get a call at work. It's my mom. My brother's been arrested. Charges. Names. Bail hearing. I was working in a youth shelter, listening to the stories of young people fleeing the shadows of their lives, many of whom were women, tormented and abused. It's too much, too real. Three months later, it happens again. Another incident of assault on his girlfriend. Three months in jail. Visiting him took every ounce of courage I had. I saw an extension of myself, reminding me. I was 15 years old, about to sit on my parents' armchair. I noticed my 10-year-old brother sleeping on the adjacent sofa. I was revolted by the sight of tissues, crumbs, and a slimy banana peel on the seat. I assumed it belonged to my brother and demanded that he clean it up. I noticed our dad in the kitchen doing dishes. I continued yelling at him. I took the banana peel and shoved it down his pants, intending to ignite a fire of rage. He screamed. My angry eyes. Dad stormed toward me. I stormed toward him, ready to engage in combat. A moment of blackness. I felt punched. I'm wet. A glass on the floor. Face to face with Dad. A soundless room, I saw my brother's tears. Mom yelling in desperation, Stop this! And my grandfather, silent on the stairs. I realize only now how my own traumas reflected in my brother's eyes, and that he was the one holding all of my pain. Three generations of violence locked inside our identity. Now, awake to the clarity that my brother and I needed to change our lives, as our father had done for us. For people that are working in the helping profession, I think we come for a reason. I don't think we, we come because um, we, you know, we like the salary or, or we like you know, some of the hours and, and, uh, and dealing with some of the emotional overtime that's involved. We come because we're putting who we are into the work and, and there is a regeneration process. Um, and, and not everyone's able to admit that or see that or, or really believes that necessarily, but that's what I believe. And, and the fact that we're doing that, we, have, we are likely bringing things that we either have dealt with or have not dealt with in that process. It's just like a, you know, a therapist kind of says, you know, to be a therapist, you need to have gone through therapy. There's that, um, those aspects of it. But it's not just, just knowing what your issues are, I think. It's not just knowing what you know, that, yeah, I experienced violence in my life. It's being able to um, walk with them and be able to stand in, in, your, in, in your history and, and know it, acknowledge it, let go of it, and, and, and write, you know, what the next steps are for yourself in a way that is, is congruent with, with who I am. And, and so um, that's kind of a, a huge takeaway for me in, in doing this that um, I like to write and I think the most important story that I can write is, is this mine, right? And, and, uh, and I have that power and I think that's a pretty amazing thing.